Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Right, stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. We have this path of practice passed down to us for many, many generations from the time of the Buddha. And as we practice, it's good to have a sense of gratitude for the people who passed it on to us, realizing that without this path we'd be wandering around pretty aimless. And here's a path that is a little bit counterintuitive. Focusing in your breath is going to take you far. It doesn't sound like anything you would hear from most people. But the Buddha found that it was true, and so he passes it on. And other people found that it was true, and so they passed it on again. And so the way we show our gratitude is to do the practice so we can verify, oh yes, what the Buddha taught really was true, and it is really is worth passing on to others. So on days when the meditation gets a little bit dry, remember, you're, you're part of a long lineage, and you'd like to see that lineage continue. So put a little effort in, put a little extra effort in, and have a sense of gratitude. And This applies not only to the, the path of the practice, but all the good things we have around us. All too often people want to trash older generations and say they weren't good for this, they weren't good for that, but they were good for a lot of things. In fact, they had a lot of virtues that we're beginning to lose. So let's make sure that we don't lose them. Right. Honesty, integrity, a sense of honor, dignity. I think I've told you about the woman from Russia who once said that she had learned the word dignity in her English lessons in Russia, but when she came to America she never heard people use it at all. It kind of reflects on our culture. So think of the good things in the past. There are a lot of things in, in our past that we can sort through and say, well, this is not for us, but the good things in the past should be appreciated and passed on. This is what keeps our lives meaningful and, again, provides a sense of true well-being. And when that's the case, that's something you want to pass on to others. You want to pass it on intact. So you do that by practicing. The people in the past seriously practiced, and that's why they got the results. So you want to seriously practice, not in the sense of being grim, but in the sense of being earnest. And that's the best way to show your gratitude, because the people who passed it on, they passed it on in earnestness, too. So it's good to keep this thought in mind.